Hello and welcome back to Let's Build, the home of time-lapse Minecraft build ideas and tutorials. So this week we're going to take to the skies and construct a floating airship. The castle we have on the other side of Lonely Mountain has a few things in place to support the idea of airships. So we're going to be building our skyboats in the air near to that castle. Construction starts by creating a red square in the sky. So because this is an older version of Minecraft, 1.14, the height limit is lower. Then I built a white cross, surrounded it by a square, and this is going to be the frame for our airship balloon. I wasn't quite sure what kind of balloon I wanted, and there's a few different options and ideas. One idea is like an ellipse balloon, which is like a stretched out sphere, the kind you'd see on a blimp like the Hindenburg. And another option is a thicker, more tubular balloon that looks like a big gas tank or tanker made out of a bunch of spheres. I built both in the sky, compared them, and I was really torn between them, but the one I landed on ultimately was the ellipse. So what now? I have my balloon. Now it's time to start decorating it. The ship has to hang from the balloon, so we're going to need to put a lot of wooden framework in the decoration around this air balloon. And then we can attach the boat via that wooden framework. I thought the balloon needed more than just the round shape it has, so I came to the back of the balloon and started to give it some white fins. And these were a really cool addition. They make the balloon kind of look like a rocket, and also help the design to show which end is the front of the balloon. So once I had a few fins at the back, and most of the wooden bracing done around the balloon, I came around to the middle of the balloon and experimented with some designs. And you can see me here on the circle in the middle decorating the balloon with some wooden fences, frames, there's even some trapdoors in there, just all kinds of things to give the balloon more texture and depth. So the main balloon is white concrete. I tried other materials, but the white concrete just fits best. I tried snow and white wool, but ultimately it's white concrete that looks the best for this balloon. But I did use some white wool blocks because in this texture pack, the white wool has a bit of a wooden border and it helps give us a bit more detail on the balloon. So to further break up the basic shape of the balloon, I also wanted a pointy front. So you can see I've built a front cone out of a light and dark wood mix out of, a, I think, spruce and uh, maybe birch. I think it's birch, yeah. And now for a few more fins along the top. I tried a few ideas with the top fins, but sometimes less is more, and so I stuck with just a couple. Again, don't worry about the red concrete here, it's just scaffolding for the moment.
So lastly, finishing off the detail on the side of the balloon with extra light wood. I'm doing more kind of like straps over the top of the balloon now, adding fences as fixings to make it feel more robust and to give our ship some more things to hang from. Now, it's time to think about boats. Forget balloons, we're going to go for boats now. We already have a boat, the frigate that we built a few episodes ago. So, I wonder, is it the right size to sit under the balloon? It was a long shot, but I came over, copied the boat, then pasted it into the sky. Then, once I'd sponged up the water, I took a step back and I'll be damned. It fits perfectly. It's exactly the right size for our balloon. That's great news. It means we don't have to design a new boat shape. So I'll need to make a few modifications, but this is a great foundation to start with. So modification number one is how do we make the boat move? What's its driving force? So we're in the sky and that means we need some big wind turbines. Why not windmills? I took a look at how I'd done the windmills from the village that I built years ago and I replicated the design on the back of the boat. And that's a simple way to give us some forward thrust. Awesome. Now I want to strap the boat to the balloon. We're gonna use a lot of rigging for this. And uh, what is rigging? Well, rigging is rope, and so we kind of have to make do with the materials that we have. To simulate rigging, we're gonna use a mix of wooden stairs and fence posts. Fences are great stand-ins for where you want rope, but you can't get it. You'll see people use them all the time on things like cranes, for example. So with the ropes and windmills done, it's time to copy one side of the boat onto the other. We were already building like half of this, this build and then copying it over because it's basically a symmetrical build. So I flipped the clock to nighttime, added a few torches to give our ship a well-lit glow. And you know what? I'm kind of happy with that. Now I wanted to connect the rear windmills a bit better. So I added some wooden supports and connectors and then added some more kind of sails or fins on the rudder section at the back of the boat for a bit more steering. The boat has side cannons, but I wanted to add some more bigger cannons on the front. Something for us to shoot huge shells out of. So I used some iron blocks, wooden decoration to hold the barrels in place, and I've used top-loaded anvils as the shells. And I think anvils are cool because once one anvil is fired, the other one will drop down in the magazine into the chamber. And then some iron bars to hold the ammo in place and then simply world edit copying over to the other side to get two guns on the go. So, now our airship has been completed. We have a place to dock, and now that evil is invading our lands, the airship has its first target. When the time comes and the order is given, our skyship can engage its twin turbines and fire our 500-pound double guns on the sea monster that's just awoken. This was a really fun build, and again, just like the sea monster, it was a great learning experience. It was something outside of my comfort zone. Also with shaders, it looks really amazing when the sun glides behind the boat, casting a huge shadow on the land. Our airship does need a name though, so drop a comment with whatever you think the name for this boat should be. So as always, thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Minecraft builds. But until next time, take care.